Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Yeah, Springfield, we got a minor league baseball team, and it's kind of a big baseball fan. It's pretty pretty interesting to go and watch some of these games and see the, the young prospects and guys that you're going to see in the big leagues and on TV. It's pretty neat to see the people that are going to turn into the future stars and people that are going to be watching the big leagues one day. Our sergeant is trying to stop a motorcycle and he says that it's running away from him. So we're going to try to get caught up to it here real quick and see if we can help him out if it stops. Now the sergeant's just a few blocks ahead of us here, going south on Broadway, trying to stop this motorcycle. So we're going to see if we can get caught up to him. But now I'm on Broadway. Channel 1 is secure. Channel 1 is secure. Northbound on Weaver. Okay, northbound on Weaver. Throw a hand behind your back. Put it behind your back. When I got the private fence and got up on it, he was starting to get up and run again. I was able to deploy my taser, and it was effective enough for you to get him in handcuffs. You want to tell him we're, we're good? Get your hand out of your pocket. Oh, no. Forty-two, we're stable. If we can just make sure both vehicles get secured. Just trying to look and see if it was stuck receiver. anywhere. Oh, it should be right in the middle of his back. Is it? Oh man! I didn't see the probe unless it fell out. Oh, there it is. Watch that one right there. Okay, we're good. Can we get a car back here to the alley if anybody knows where we're at? Sit up, cross your feet. Partner, we're going to stand up and we're going to get out in the front of the house so we know where we're at. All right? Don't do anything stupid. Stand up. Walk over here. Oh, man. Sit right there on that ledge. Is it stolen? Do you have dope on you? You got warrants? Steve, which one is it, man? I mean, when a police car comes up behind you with lights on, usually most people stop. Uh, scared didn't even look like a cop car. Look in this wallet. 740 St. Johnston route to the It's like a address. cellophane wrapper with some type of unknown pills in it. Generally, it's probably a prescription closed or controlled substance medication of some sort. We'll have to figure out what that is. It's not your wallet, even though I took it out of your back pocket? All uh, right. You're borrowing it. Yeah. But your ID was in it? Oh, no. It's 
So uh, it's like a debit card or credit card of a female and an ID belonging to the same female. Obviously not this subject. Possibly stolen. We'll have to uh, check on that. Who does it belong to then? The person said. Huh? The person over there. What person? It's not mine. Well, it's obvious that's not yours. You're not a female. Best I can tell. That was clearly a female on that ID. But it's in the wallet with your ID and everything else, so... It's kind of hard to pass that off as not being in your possession, partner. So, Stephen, why are we running, man? Please, please tell me that. What, running? Yeah, why are we running? I don't know. You don't know? It's stupid. Well, yeah, you're right, it's stupid, but there's got to be a reason. I mean, we don't run just for the sake of running most of the time. Like he said, are you, you got warrants out? Did you, warrants out? Because you had those pills in your pocket? I mean, you know, is the motorcycle you're on, was it stolen? Anything? Like I'm sure you were, that earlier. You weren't uh, running I'm just I'm because you wanted to run. probably not yours. You don't know whether or not it's stolen. Is that what you're going to... You're trying to tell me? What? 740. I don't know where. Someone let me use it. That's all I know. What's your date of birth, partner? What's your birthday? I'm sure you're old enough to know your own date of birth, aren't you? You guys got it right there on my ID, man. Yeah. Stop it. Oh, I know. He's not going to. Yeah. We'll just, we'll just go okay, fingerprint well, him and, and go that I'll route. Do you not tell me? Because you'll sit in jail and have to tell the judge. It, it's up to you. It's up to you. Do you want to tell me and take care of your warrants now? Or do you know wait have to sit and see the judge? And take an extra charge for lying about it. Yeah. It's up to you. I don't care either way. You're going to sit in jail longer if you don't tell me. Okay, fair enough. You can sit in jail. A cigarette? Nope. Nope. You don't want to tell us anything. We're not going to. Why would we be nice to you, to you when you don't even want to tell us who you are? I mean, a cigarette. No, no, no that isn't the way this that game's game played. And you've been around the block a time or two to know that isn't the way this game's played. You want something from me, you can go ahead and be honest. So whatever you've got hanging over your head, parole violation, probation warrant, whatever it is, you know you're going back, and that's the reason you want to play this game. That's fine, but you're just going to sit in jail even longer, and you're going to rack up more charges. All you got to do is come clean and tell us who you are. Why is he going to rack a bunch more charges on me? Well, you're going to you, catch charges you for your honest? lying right now. Yeah, right now you're catching charges for lying about your name. Like you said, it's just the inevitable, because obviously when you get to jail, they're going to fingerprint you. All right, then. Rack it up. Good. I ain't going to tell you. That's fine. That's your choice. Just remember you had that option, and you chose not to take it, okay? Yeah. You're looking at a tampering charge because of a stolen bike. So you got a possession charge, reference to drugs in the wallet, and the resisting and fleeing from us. Whatever. Rack them up. I pretty much grew up in Springfield. Um, it's a really nice city in the Midwest that has a lot of home feel to it. Uh, there's families here that are linked back for generations. I'm actually a fourth generation Green Countyan. A lot of outdoor activities here, fishing, hunting, hiking, canoeing. It's a nice place to, you know, grow up and raise your own kids as well. Oh, there's two police cars in the area and there's a man over here that's uh, acting really suspicious. He's, he was on a parking lot walking toward a police car and now he's walking away very quickly and he's looking over his shoulder and this neighborhood that's really his behavior doesn't add up at all so we're going to see what's going on with this guy and why he doesn't want to see the police and if he belongs around here hey there's a guy really interested in us he went around back he's got long hair male white black shorts come here sir come here Put your, take your hand out of your shirt. What's your deal? What's your name? Okay, why are you running from us or walking away from us like that? You saw us coming, you went around back, and then you were moving this way. Look right out here and see what my buddy is coming down Do me a favor and walk with me, okay? Geiger, where's that guy that was pointing? You got any weapons on you? No, sir. Can I check you? Put your hands on your head. Why is your pocket turned inside out? What bugger? He might have dumped something, but his pocket's hanging inside out. Where'd he come from? He came, from, he came around the building. OK, come on. Did you throw something? Nope. Yes, you did. 
his pockets left sides out. He saw you guys coming and he went fast to the to the west. And then this guy's pointing frantically at him and he was out here in front. So he circled all the way back around. Do me a favor, have a seat, please. Do you have your ID? Uh, no, it's at my house. Are you from Missouri? Yes, sir. What were you doing over here on this property? I go jump. I go over on the other side of the fence, being friend of mine. He said, he "Oh, me over wait here. a minute! I saw you jump that fence the other night when I was on a call over here, and I wondered why you were jumping the fence." Hi. Do you know this man? No, I don't. Okay. Fifth, you're under arrest. Put your hands behind your back. Don't stand up. Do you throw it? Larry, yes, sir. now is the time not to play games. Do you understand? Yeah. Now is the time for you to be a stand-up guy and talk truthfully to the police. Do you understand that? Yeah. The officers recovered some things that came out of your pocket. Didn't come out of my pocket. All right. When we fingerprint those things, is there any reason that your fingerprints would show up on those items? Get your fingerprints on, then. No, I'm asking you a question. Is there any reason that you can explain that your fingerprints would be on them? No? Mm -mm. Okay. What is this? It's like meth. Like, it's got digital scales here as well. Where'd you find it? This is over there between the two houses where that guy saw him go and try to dig in his pockets and empty his pockets out. I'll, I'll watch him and if you want to just park over here, we'll load him up. Are you uh, smoking it or shooting it? Shoot it. Where at? Wherever it came. Do you need help with your problem? Probably do. What kind of time are you facing? 30. 30 years? Mm -hmm. Okay, Larry, stand up for me. I'm going to double lock your cuffs so they don't get any tighter. Pull your hands away from your body. Okay. Nothing else on you? Nope. fella come over the back fence here he's riffling in his pockets i'm figuring he's getting which, ready which jump. pocket did he seem to focus on or it, both of them okay <laughs> i think he had some in both okay. both pockets they run over there in between the houses and i guess dropped his load and about that time was when you guys come around the corner there and i was like mm -hmm. <laughs> he's over there and then another officer caught him out there on the uh, sidewalk i guess in front of the other house and that's when you guys brought him over here Put him on the sidewalk. Okay. When he was over here, was he just beyond those plants? No, he ran in between the two buildings there. Okay. Well, I really appreciate your help. I mean, people like you help us get people like that off the street. So appreciate well, I you used a lot. to be one of them, but I finally quit. Good for you. Good for you. Proud of you. Thank you, officer. Take care. You have a great day. You too. Larry, well, who's your PO? I feel bad for you, man. I mean, you say you've only been dirty a few days and you were clean for three. three yeah. How long did you use before you got busted? Back three, you know, when you, did you go to prison? How long did you do in prison? Uh, four and a half, I think, almost. Four and a half years? And you were paroled? How long were you paroled, three years ago? Yeah, about two and a half, almost three. Two and a half or three, and you, just in the last week or so, you got dirty again? Yeah. And you're facing 30 years? Yeah. You have, are you a persistent? 424. How old are you? 37. 37 79. When, did, when did you start using? Age of eight. Eight years old? Yeah. What were you using at age eight? Then my first shot dope when I was eight years old. You shot methamphetamine when you were eight years old? Yeah. Who gave you meth when you were eight years old? Say most of it's cut? Yeah. Is there a little bit of crank in there? Yeah. Why'd you have the scales with you? I don't know. No? When you have scales and you have that much cut, I mean, you know what I'm going to charge you with, don't you? No. Possession with intent. You know, you can't carry scales around that much cut and not get a possession with intent case. That's just the way it is. How much will that bond be? They're not going to be any bond. Why not? Because you're on parole. Good luck. This gentleman uh, told me that he was given meth when he was eight years old and he's been using until he went to prison. Did four or five years in prison. 
got back out, ran right into the SPD web. So he's going back to prison, more than likely. I moved to Springfield for this job. It was the first time I'd lived in a city this big. There's a college here in town, good downtown area. Got a minor league baseball team. It gives me lots of opportunities to get out and about and enjoy the city life without being too far out of touch from nature and hunting and fishing, and the stuff that I like to do. Getting ready to make a traffic stop on this red Chevy up here. He had a couple turn signal violations and a his rear license plate lights are defective. I think I stopped this truck a few nights ago and got some narcotics off of the driver. Monster Lord with the police department. You have a driver's license on you? Yes, sir. You <laughs> like you don't have any license plate lamps on your truck? Well. Uh, felt. It's a red Chevy. Code one. Hop out here with me. Oh. Go ahead and leave all that stuff in there for me. Stick your hands up here. Stick your hands up here. You got anything illegal on you? No. Just leave me alone, mister. Please, please, just leave Stick me your alone. hands up here. Come on, Stick mister. your hands up here. Do it now. Do it now. Stick your hands up here and don't move them. 321, step it up. Hey, Jay! Step it up. Just leave me alone, mister. Don't move your hands. I ain't moving my hands. Just leave me alone. 321, step it up. Damn. I'm scared of you, sir. I'm scared. I got people out there. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. Please, please, please. I'm scared. Don't tense up on me. Right, please, please, please. Oh, sir, please. Get it. Drop your cigarette. Oh, 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 Put your hand behind your back. Get it. Drop your cigarette. Oh, get it. Drop. Put your hand behind your back. Don't hurt me. Oh, please, don't hurt me. Don't tense up on me. Oh, please don't hurt me, sir. Oh, my God, oh, please don't hurt me. I ain't sorry. I ain't doing nothing. Put your hands please behind your back. Hurt. I'm hurt. Put your hands oh, behind your back. God. Do it now. Oh, this hand, too. Oh, Stay just like that. Give me another set. Oh, daddy. Oh, my God. This guy, because of an equipment violation, he's a known drug character. We really don't know what's going on with him right now. He just started acting out as if maybe he was under the influence. Stand up! Stand up! Hey, will you act right and stand up? I'm hurt. You're not hurt, Charles. He's trying to hold on between his legs. Oh, please don't hurt me no more. Put him back on his back. Send him there. Lay down. Lay down. I can't. Lay down. Stop resisting. Lay down. Lay down. What are you trying to hold me? Lay down. Pull his legs apart. Oh, my ribs. Oh, my God. Methamphetamine. Oh, that's the reason why he's acting like he's acting. Relax. What's that up? I can't. I don't. No, no. Oh, oh, oh. I can't. We dealt with this guy a few nights ago. Right. I remember him. He's pinching his legs in like he was holding something between his legs. And when we were searching him down on the ground, found like some pretty big meth crystals, a little bit of tin foil. That's some of the biggest crystals I've seen in a while. We you talked to his one. wife yet? I haven't. He was screaming for her. She came out for a short minute and then went back inside. Hi, I'm Officer Hi. Lord with the police department. Are you Charles' wife? Yeah. Okay. He's in a little bit of trouble. He's going to go down to jail. What's going on? Um, he had some stuff on him that he shouldn't have. If he wants to talk to you about it when he gets out of jail, he can. I think this is going to be the second night in a row for him. Okay? He's fine. He's not hurt at all. He's yelling. Well, he's just probably tweaking a little bit, it looks like.
Does he have a substance abuse problem that you know of? Yeah. Has he been getting any kind of treatment or anything for it? He was, but he hasn't been in treatment for a while. Is he on probation? Um, no. Okay. Has he ever done any prison time? Yeah, he did. For what? It was, um, for, uh, meth. Okay. Weed. Yeah, manufacturing. Okay. The interior of this truck and the items in the bed are just typical of a meth user. Lithium batteries, just an ingredient used in the meth making process. And it looks like he's got a bunch of them all taped together. Uh, a torch up front. She found a syringe in one of these bags back here. A propane tank for your heat source. Last night, I contacted him as he was in a dumpster. He was uncooperative with me then as well. He was found in possession of methamphetamine. Looks like he's got a pretty bad habit. Leave me alone. No so I just want to talk to you. No, leave me alone. I just get away from you. This guy's going to take you down to the jail. I'm just going to let you know what's going on, okay? Yeah. This guy's going to take you down to the jail. If you're cooperative with him, then uh, it'll be just like the other time. You'll get in there and you'll get right back out of there, okay? But you speak to me for me. I did you meant you. I wouldn't use this rest. I wouldn't do nothing like that. Mr. What I need you to understand is that you're on federal probation yeah. for a weapons offense. And whenever you start acting kind of hinky in the car like that on me, I don't know what's going on with you. I know that I dealt with you before. You had some narcotics on you. Yeah. You're on you federal probation for a reason. weapons violation. And whenever you start acting like you did, it kind of puts questions into our mind. Yeah, but I, you did I'm just to trying to be me. safe out here, okay? Yeah. All right. He's going to be charged with resisting arrest and going to be another felony possession of a controlled substance charge on him two nights in a row for the meth that we found in his pocket. 132 in Bush. I've got him at gunpoint. Okay, gunpoint. 132 in Bush. Covers code 3. Get into 2514. Can't transmit on track 2. Okay, we'll still send a code 3.